हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आई टेक यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज वरुण चौहान आई होप ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम ऑल्सो डूइंग वेल फ्रेंड्स टूडे आई केम विथ सी डब्ल्यू पी इंस्टॉलेशन पार्ट सेवन दे आर आई कवर ई मेल सर्विसेज बिफोर स्टार्ट टू कंटिन्यू इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द वेल आइकन टू गेट न्यू वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन If you subscribed our channel, be motivated and ready to come with a new video. Let's start to continue. Please log in with username and password. Friends, I have covered dashboard, CWP setting, server setting, web server setting, PHP setting, service SSH, service config, user account, domains, packages, SQL services in previous part. So today I'll cover email. Click on email. Click on email account. There we can check our email accounts on our server. If you want to add accounts, so you can also add. For example, add new subdomain mail and add new domain mail. Click on add domain. Select user. Uh, there is I T E available, and uh, there you can. enter email name and there is domain and their password confirm password and click on create mail your email will be create after the fill all details next is email alias forwarders mail alias accounts view add updates suspend and delete mailbox alias account from post fix database there we can create email groups uh, like forwarder uh, click on add new alias and uh, there is select user user means on our server uh, it means client there enter your alias email and there you can add multiple uh, email id for forwarders and uh, there is create alias next is email auto responders click on email auto responders there click on add new auto responders uh, friends this is the auto responders if uh, client is saying uh, you can create auto responders so you can create uh, itself auto reply uh, you know auto responders there is select uh, i take Uh, user's name uh, there means your client name and they are choose email and there is uh, a subject and there is content and uh, there is on and uh, there you can also set a schedule uh, which time you want uh, auto responder active and which time you want inactive and after then click on add new your auto responder will be configured next mail routing email routing remote and local here you can change the email routing to remote or local exchanger uh, friends there is option if you want email exchanger in, on your local server so you can if you want email exchanger on your remote server for example you have services purchased to another cloud so you can configure your services here i am telling you click on change our email exchanger services uh, local has been configured next uh, round queue web email click on round queue web email there when you will run your email services so there link for login your email id as a web email next uh, manage mail queue friends there all email will be available incoming and outgoing there we can check queue 
if there is queue available we can check but currently we don't have any queue for example you can refresh process queue if some email is stuck on your server so you can process queue if there is a spoofing email available and is stuck your server so you can select and remove also there next to mail explorer there we can there we can email explorer if we have email on our server so we can direct open click on info at the rate goitech.com this is our email explorer there we can check all email after the explorer email we can check incoming email which is are available in our inbox next mail server manager mail server manager rebuild your mail server with AMBSD, spam, SSN, claim MB, anti spam and antivirus protection. Uh, friends, there we can uh, rebuild our server if there is a technical problem. For example, after the enter host name of your server and uh, click on rebuild mail server, uh, your uh, server will be uh, rebuild. After the rebuild, uh, click on restart all mail services. Uh, because it is required when you build the server so all services will be restarted uh, which is combined with your mail server next uh, mail server stats friends there we can check how many email delivered how many mail deferred how many mail uh, rejected uh, there we can access directly our email logs uh, click on there we can choose uh, mail logs and there is number of records so and there is so statics click on so statics uh, there we can check uh, total per day per time domain delivery domain received sender details recipient details messages there is graphs available for how much email de delivered how much email received how much email deferred so uh, all logs are available there rdns checker your rdns for ip there is ip available there we can check our rdns checker next dki manager there we can add dki services and uh, enable spf services on your domain friends you can add a simple dki and spf installer it checked for dns zone in the folder after the select domain click on add dki your dki services and spf services will be installed we can check after the add spf services and dkim services in this row next is spf manager click on spf manager there we can add especially spf services if we want to add with the rules so we can add there uh, for example there is your domains available there is uh, options are available allow server listed mx records and email for this domains we can add these condition also in spf services if you want but i suggest you if you want running smoothly server so please uh, select always default setting if you know about the services and you are the expert of services so you can change this there after the add spf records your records will be so in dns record next is uh, policy hours limits friends this option for policy there we can add a policy to as per your user account and domain uh, package level policy it means how many email can send as per user account and as per domain there we can implement policy how much email they can send there is motive of policy hourly for example 100 email they can send in hour and 100 email can send in 24 hours it means there we can implement policy as per domain as packages as per user account as per domain uh, next option is check policy limit user level policy i am checking submit 
it means i i did not configure there any policy that's why it is showing blank next uh, anti spam friends uh, this is the anti spam uh, if uh, uh, any incoming email coming and uh, outgoing email coming so it is uh, relate with our csr firewall anti spam should be installed i have already installed there uh, there you can install a spam host uh, if you want to uninstall your spam host you can uh, there is a, a list of spam blocked ips uh, there we can check list uh, these ips are black listed in a spam host next is spam expert on this page you can configure the admin setting of the add on you can hover over the options to see more details information about what they do so there you can spam expert setting configured uh, domain list and uh, work protect uh, there you can configured uh, click on yes and there anti spam api url api host name api username api password after the fill details click on update your spam expert will be configured i hope my video helpful for you please subscribe our channel and don't forget share your feedback in comment box if your colleague planning to web hosting server please share video link we will meet in next video bye bye take care thank you